Greetings to Echo Zero Papo Golf Sierra here. I'm running a DATV Express on the laptop on the left here. This is a Windows 10 laptop with DATV Express software. Now I've got to video input from the webcam, the laptop, audio from the mic for the laptop. SI tables are basically your transport stream information. So you can give the streamer and our program ID, provider name, etc. Modulator common settings, I've set the frequency to be 896 megahertz with 1 mega symbols a second DVB-S, that's a satellite uh, standard and I've got the Pluto SDR acting as a transmitter I'm using TX level 27 which is a reduced uh, transmit level now I'm using 896 megahertz transmit frequency because um, it's, a, it's a resonant frequency of the stock antennas that come with the Pluto SDR. So that gives me a little bit more gain with the stock antenna. I'm using one mega symbol a second because SDR Angel, which I'll show you in a minute on the decode laptop, uh, didn't like working with uh, 333 mega sim uh, 333 kilo symbols a second but it works fine with one mega symbol a second so I'm running QPSK DBBS 896 megahertz one mega symbol a second one out of two FEC and it reckons a bit rates about one megabit per second which is correct we'll confirm that in a minute and reduce TX level so I'll start I'll just show you the receive laptop first actually. So the receive laptop is to the right here. It's running Linux and running STR Angel. And you can see the receive frequency is there. I've got maximum input bandwidth which is 2.4 megs. Um, yeah, and that's the maximum this RTL SDR dongle can do. So that's why I've, I've just got that as a max receive there. I've got the gain wax right up. Um, I've got two waterfalls here. On the right I've got two decoders. I've got a narrowband FM decoder that just helps they call them demodulators, sorry. Um, that just helps me audibly tell uh, if the signal is coming in. You can hear the difference. Then I've got the DATV demodulator here which is currently an uh, image there because I'm not transmitting. Um, so I'll show you that. So I've also got the bandwidth set to should be able to see the bandwidth there. I've got the bandwidth set to 1.4 meg bandwidth on the receive. So although I'm pulling the max 2.4 in the input, the demodulator is only going to see 1.4 meg uh, bandwidth for the DATB. That'll be how wide our signal is. I'll show you. So the receive device that we go, RTL SDR dongle, that's using a stock antenna that, well, I found, it's actually using an antenna, sorry, that came from a, a handheld. Um, that is a UHF antenna, which is really meant for 433 megs, but it works reasonably well at 896 megs, so that's another reason I'm using that frequency, besides the fact that the transmit device, which I'll show you here, the Pluto, is using its stock antennas which uh, is resonant on that frequency. So what I'll do is just connect via USB into the transmit device running Windows 10 with DATV Express software and it, it uses like um, it uses internet protocol uh, over the USB there so it actually connects using uh, IP settings running over USB. So I'll just uh, it sort of exposes itself like a network device, a bit like when you connect your phone to your PC and do tethering that way. So I'll just uh, start transmitting, and you'll see if that looks, I've got that selected. If I stop transmitting on the left, right, no transmission there. So I'll start transmitting. You can see the signal come in here. You can see the video is now live and moving around. It's all working. I'll go over here, you can see the constellation of the QPSK constellation. You can see I've got it set to one mega symbol a second. If I just move the scroll bar. One mega symbol a second. 
can see a bit right there of about one meg. Uh, sorry, one megabit per second. We're not buffering any data, probably because the signal isn't terribly good. I've just got it set on the floor here, so it's probably not able to buffer as much data as actually data coming in there. So one meg per second. Then we go to the video, you can see it's actually grabbing the video, I'm sort of off screen. Let's do a wave. You can see it's pulled in the transport stream information here, so those are the settings I set earlier in DATV Express, put my call sign in. Um, I think the laptop's just gone to sleep, which is not very good. Data, transport, video decoding. I should have put the laptop on charge because that has now turned itself off, which is just typical. So you can see we've got data, transport stream, video decoding. Uh, audio should be coming out if I enable it. Audio test. There we go, so that's coming. That's audio coming across the transport stream. We'll stop that because otherwise it will feed back into the microphone. Now, uh, one, so you notice the bandwidth there, let's highlight the bandwidth that we're receiving 1.4 meg bandwidth and at 1 mega symbols a second it's about so 1 mega symbols a second is about 1.4 meg bandwidth with uh, 1 megabits per second bit rate. Uh, one of the other key things of STR Angel is you'll want to save presets because sometimes the DATV decoder gets stuck so I recommend saving your settings as a preset, closing the entire software, reopening and loading that preset back up because sometimes the DATV uh, decoder will just refuse to decode until you restart the program even though it looks like it's moving around. Um, I'm kind of limited on how many mega symbols a second I can receive here due to bandwidth limitations of the um, RTL SDR if I use my hack RF instead, I can decode uh, probably I could, I could do two mega symbols a second. Uh, but the other thing with that is, is you start to get CPU limitations if you're not careful trying to decode uh, large uh, bandwidth. Um, I'm going to do some more testing to see whether some of the um, firmware, not the firmware, some of the libraries that uh, are different between the various SDRs uh, add a bit more CPU overhead as well. Yeah. So that's uh, DVBS being transmitted via the Pluto using DATV Express on Windows and then being received using uh, STR Angel under Linux. So thanks for watching. From 2 Echo Zero, Papa Golf Sierra.